Hi everyone, I'm sharing with you how to make another ornament. This is so pretty. And um, I have a lot of requests. The people have so much fabric and I just want to do something very easy for people to follow. The big piece of fabric I have here, I'm using the white one and the size is a and half in square. I also have two different fabric right here. This is four inches square piece. And then I have heat and bone interfacing. So I'm going to iron this one on this piece. And this one, and I put on this side. You remember these two? It's four inches. And I have another one right here that I use. It's four inches and a quarter. The measurement will show in the screen. So just so you know. So with this eight and a half inch square, you're going to fold it this way. And then you're going to press right in the center. Alright, so now open this up. You're going to fold the other way. When you fold the other way, make sure this line is lined up. And press in the center, like that. Now you have the center point right there. You're going to bring this four corners to the, point, the center. You see this right right here? Make sure everything go lie down there. getting smaller in this four corners here you're going to fold it in again fold into the center like this one more time So everyone, after I fold this in the second time, four inches square piece, I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to place it in. You can do this or you can place it in here and then you fold after. Put it back on. in the middle I would do about half an inch for each side go to the center like this from here half an inch to the center half an inch from the pointy out and then on this side too you can you can do more than half an inch it's okay I'm just Okay, like that. And now you can see. This is what it looked like. You're going to sew the slide down and then sew the slide down. So now I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to hand sew. I'm going to go underneath here. Okay. And then kind of do a run instead. I can make so many of this. So do like that, run instead to the other half an inch in the other side, and then go back to like it's kind of like an X. Run instead, bastard, whatever stitch you like. As long as you sew this. And then on this side, you're going to do exact the same. Making the loop and 
inside it and then I come out. I do the other one, the other line, exact the same. After I sew this line in the center, I go ahead and take this out. The the fabric here with the interfacing I'm going to iron is after you I iron the interfacing in here I'm not going to peel the paper yet I'm going to draw the line so I can cut this out so pointy to pointy right here draw the line and then from here draw another line and from here you can cut this out you cut and then you peel the paper off cut this into four like so okay so now you're gonna bring this back now you start peeling the paper from here Like that. Iron on. And then peel this. Continue doing that to the four sides. So everyone after that, you're going to go on the side and you're going to fold it like this. Same thing to the other side, iron it down. Like that and then continue to do the other side all around exact the same. Now when you're finished folding, it's gonna look like this. Isn't that so pretty? Now I have another one of the interfacing and the fabric that I have here. Place it on top of it. Iron. This is the most easiest one. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back in here. I make sure everything like folded down this way. When I do, when I put it down, I'm gonna make sure I'll hold it this way. So the flap, it flapping out the pedal like that, flapping out for me. And then I'm going to peel this off. It's sunny. The sun get into me now. When you are after you iron, don't peel right away because you're gonna burn yourself. Okay, iron and then wait. And then I'm gonna place this right in the back side. Turn the heat down. Go into this side. You can see now it's ironed in very nicely. Go touch up one more time on the top with the pedal. Super easy. You can do that with one eye. See how beautiful that is. I'm going to add, you buy the Vey filler at the Dollar Tree. You'll be able to find that there. I'm going to put it around here. Three. Now 
This is for something I hang up in the tree. I don't mind using the glue. Okay, and then I add the bead in here. This bead I got in from a Dollar Tree too. I go ahead and add it right in here. Just a straight line down. I'm coming up one more time and press this down. 